Right then guys, this is the job that we're on at the moment. Mark's just chopping up a load of wood out the background. Look, just abject, complete hell in here at the moment. But it's one of those things. Loads of stuff to do in here. Just, I'm never rounding. We are filming in this little alcove in here today because we've got the saw stack just down here and that's gonna be running up there. We've got a toilet just here. We've got a toilet just here as well. So we're gonna be 45 in just through here. But also in this bit here is gonna be like a utility room. So I've got to put on a little bit of a half inch there ready to go up. But then on this side of the job, we've got a wall hung boiler up there, underfloor heating manifold. So obviously I've got my little inch and a half down there for the high pressure relief for our uh, pressurized system in here. Uh, and the same goes for how I'm gonna link up, we've got a big unvented cylinder going in here as well. Uh, and that's also gonna be going in there. The high pressure relief will be going in there for that. So there's lots and lots for us to do. But today's little video, what we're gonna be looking at today, nice and simple, nice and easy, is just getting our four inch stack up here, 45 through. We've got a branch like that for the bogs up there. And then our little breather pipe at the top, which to be honest, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because it's just the same as everything else. But really it just gives you an idea of why we put like bosses in, how we install them, uh, and also just sort of how easy this sort of this job is. So if you've got this to do, then you think, well, I'm not 100% happy about tackling this one. We'll show you how, okay? Or at least I'll be able to give you a little bit of a, a bit of a tip, a bit of an advice on how to do it. So yeah, importantly, I mean, there's, there's obviously a lot to do on this job today, uh, but you know, like I said, we've got some brackets here. So I'll give you a quick heads up how we can just get all this in. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember guys, what you gotta do is hold tack throughout the night. Just gonna finish this cup of tea and get me tripod over here as well. <laughs> hey! Plumberparts.co.uk, home of Find Your Plumber. So this is pretty much where we're working. We've got our saw stack coming up here. It's gonna 45 up there, but for the first few meters, I've got you know at least a nice bit of straight pipe. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just measure out my clips. The way I do that is just pop my little spirit level on here like so and then i know that i've got a straight level all the way up and then choose the heights where i want my clips to be watch us easy peasy right now so i'm literally just popping this down the center here i've got my line up there get my bubble nice and central so i can just nick that and now i know that i can pop this right flat on the wall this pops in like so and then just work my way all the way up the wall as you can see, we've got our nick there. Got another line here. There's our, our stack, so down there. So basically, I'm gonna put a bracket somewhere about here, probably. And then I'm gonna measure up. Just got a mark up here. So I'm gonna put my other bracket just about there. Nice and easy. Obviously, make sure that when you guys first fix, they first fix the right width out of your bracket, whether they have done here. So all I need to do is just get these little babies marked up and popped in. Now, guess what? Because I've measured and done my brackets properly, my pipe will also be level naturally because it's going to go nicely into those brackets. I'm going to bang them on right now. Right, so this is the first like, little stumbling block we've got. So firstly, we've got to get up here, and there's a line that I've got from the centre of that all the way down to here, right, next to our line of where we're keeping our, you know, we're sort of tucking this into the corner nicely. So we've got two 45s here. Like usually in a perfect world, we'd have been able to keep this over just like this. So we could pop them two 45s inside each other like that and not have to do anything. But because this is slightly further away, if we marry up and hold that 45 just there, you can see we've got a little bit of a gap, haven't we? So what I've got to do is get my tape. It's quite difficult while I'm holding this. I measure from my little finger just here to my thumb here pretty much, okay? Obviously I'll do that in a minute with the camera down. Then I can cut the socket off of a full length of four inch and stuff that on there. And then once we've got that bit made up right, we can put a little stub on here ready for our branch. We can actually sit that right up here like so, ready to go in. And then we can do our big measurement of one long bit of pipe all the way down from there, all the way down to the bottom. So I'm gonna measure that now and then get this bit in. So measuring five and a half inches on here. I'm just gonna do this with my little mouth. Little bit of a deeper, okay now. This is the point where some of you seasoned plumbers might be like, look, why, why are you using a file, Jimmy boy? Because basically a lot of people aren't gonna have 100 quid's worth of deburring tool in their toolbox, are they? Because they can't, you'll probably spend the money on it. So the idea is we chamfer this bit off here and then in a second or two, it will go into the actual main fitting much easier. We're all chamfered off. Ooh. Don't worry, I'm just chamfering. A little tip for y'all, if you haven't done this before, a bit of fair liquid for this, or you can get some silicon grease, will do just as good a job. Don't have to worry, so, get on it, you. Cool, that is tight today, isn't it? 
Okay, sweetheart. So there's one of our little beasts in. Bang, there we go, that's that bit done. So look, now you can see that we've got our little piece made up, effectively, all I need to do now is measure a small bit of pipe, probably from about here to just about here, because I know that's where my T piece, my branch is gonna go in a minute. So I can just run that down to here like so, just like that across there. And then this piece will effectively lift up to about here where it will go in and socket in nicely. So then this bend is nicely out of the way for this cupboard downstairs. So this will go up to here. So that sticks just there like that. There's our 45, there's our clip. Here's me holding it all up. I now know exactly how long to measure from here down to our bottom bit just down there. We know that's all gonna work out okay. So yeah, I mean, it's just doing it in the right way round. As you can see, the first thing I did was measured all my levels and got my clips on. Let's just pop down here and I'll give you a quick heads up on how to do a nice little bit of solvent weld. The solvent weld glue is cheap and leaks are expensive. I've opened this up before when I was in a shower tray cubicle and I got so high. Just basically watch out, okay? Use it in a ventilated area. Make sure that your pipe's nice and clean. Look at that lovely and clean. Look at that beautiful. Some guys will say you can etch it a little bit, get an etch on there, so then the actual solvent will bite into it. I know this stuff is, I mean, a tub of this is expensive, I guess but slather it on, okay? Don't skimp with this. As you can see, I don't know if you can see my tub down there. Lean your tub over on the, towards the floor and then pick it back up again, and then you'll get plenty of this weld glue. We push this together, give it a little twist. Basically, you're gonna leave that for a sec. We've got a little bit coming out of the middle there. This part here, I will put in once we actually get up there. And then that will basically sit there like that, and we've got our whole piece then for our loo and everything else, and that will just sit up there. But that bit will do last. And now, we've got to basically get another one of these, glue that onto this bit here, and then get our long piece going all the way up to the top, fitted in as well. So we know where exactly where we want to end here, because I just want to end roughly flush with the floor for that. Uh, and then, so we know that we're going to have a socket going here, so you see that mark there that I've got? We've got a little mark just on there like that, and that is where we're going to measure to. Off my tape, just on that mark just up there, like so. Run my tape all the way down. And we're going to have to put a little boss just in this piece here, up here like that, okay? So we're going to be drilling ourselves a little, yeah, a little hole just through here, okay? Ready to go through there. So, bosses, let's have a quick look at the boss. Some people call me the boss, my wife doesn't, which is good because we've got an equal relationship. So what we have to do is we need to get our hole source set. You pick a hole source size, the same size as your boss hole. I'm going to drill somewhere. We want it to be as big as possible. So you can see there that that's exactly the right size there for that. So I literally just get my drill. Drill it really bad. So you'll notice on a strap boss like this, right, it's actually got a slight angle on it. There will be a top, so it mentions on this one here that says top, so obviously take that to be what it is. You also notice that any inserts, be it like any size, will have a little cut out notch on it like that, and that will also correspond to the top, okay? So I know that these are obviously wrong color. Oh, that's annoying. It's one of those things. Um, so usually what I'd say now is get your, get your Osmo or get your, get your solvent weld glue, and actually get that on your insert fitting now. Slop it on, okay, like I said, this stuff's cheap. Leaks are expensive. Crunchy. Any crap you've got, wipe away with your finger. Wait till it dries and then have the insane amount of fun of peeling it off later on. I love doing that. It's like my favorite thing ever. Make sure that this face is nice and clean. And also file off any birds or anything like that that are in there. So everyone's got their own way of doing this. I prefer to just get your solvent weld right and just get a fair bit of it on there. If you want, get a bit and put it on the back end of this as well. As you can see, we've got some notched out holes on there. So there we go, we've got our boss up there. If you can see that in the distance, we've got a little zigzag. All I've got to do now is pop upstairs. Going up to the noisy level now, where the chippies are and the builders, making loads of noise, ruining the plumber's life. Oh no, he's out of my way. He's in here. There he is, look. Here's our pipe here. So our tea's gonna sit on there like so. And then, bog here, basin, bath. Uh, well, I think so, all the drawings are on there. Look at him go, look at him go. And then same this side really, bog here, basin, but on this end, instead of having a bath, you've got a shower. So that's it really, this is why we're first fixing now, getting all that done. So anyway, right, this now goes in here, like so. 
And then we can serve all our boggy wogs and also get our stink out of the top. Glue like a good one, okay? Don't want any leaks, don't want any smell. Sling a bit round your hole as well. That's the way to do it. And then the chippies will really do this little bit of studding. So we'll just give that a little wiggle down. And there we go. We're in, that bit's ready. And then that I think will be the end of our little video about saw pipe for now until we maybe return to this job and film some more.